never kill my vibe But there is no sacrifice Everything was taken You had to make it Vibe killer Me and no go take shit Vibe killer Give me Girlies, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is your girl Goldie Nap. Long time no talk. We were in Philly last week. We're back home for a week and then we're going to New York for New York Fashion Week. So another little thing for y'all to look forward to. I feel like when I shoot these videos, I always end up starting in the morning because I wake up and just start filming and I wanted to switch it up on y'all. So I started last night because I had tennis practice. Y'all know I'm a little tennis girly. I'm playing on two different teams this season. We got a 2-5 team and a 3-0 team. To give some background on how amateur tennis works, 2-5 is like the beginner level. So I've been playing, this is my third year playing tennis. First year, girl, I had never played tennis in my life. I was just learning how to hold a racket, um, trying to get like consistent and excited about it. Just, I wasn't playing in a league. I was just, girl, learning how to hit a ball without hitting myself in the face. Last year was my first year playing league. And at that point I played on a 2-5 league. And every year you kind of have the opportunity to get bumped up. No one's going to stop you from playing on a league of a higher level. But once you get bumped up, you can't play on a lower level. Getting bumped up is kind of arbitrary. It just depends on whether the USTA wants to bump you up or not. But obviously, the more wins you have, the more likely you are to get bumped up. I felt like I was really on my shit last year. I think I should have gotten bumped up. It also depends how you do on each season. So like the spring season is the first season of a year. And that is the season that the USTA puts the most emphasis on. So if you really are a beginner, like I played like shit in the spring because it was my first time playing league. It's my first time adjusting to really playing like super long matches. Whereas by the end of the year, like I was really mm, single season. I was killing it. So anyways, technically ranking wise, I am still a 2-5, which means I can still play on a 2-5 team, but just skill wise, I feel like I'm definitely a 3-0. So I'm also playing in a 3-0 elite and I'm very excited about it. I love that my teams are also really big on like practicing, which like gives me the opportunity to like meet new people and play with new people and really hone my skills. Last year, I feel like the team that I was playing on weren't like super big on scheduling practice throughout the week. So I felt like if I wanted to work on something, I either had to do it by myself, which is very tedious because all you can really do by yourself is serve and serving is like probably my least favorite thing ever. Or I would have to ask my boyfriend and his friends to take with me. And obviously playing against men is a very different thing than playing against women. There's no men versus women matches because just physically, like it's, it's just a different sport. Like, unfortunately it is what it is. So anyways, now I feel like I'm in a space where my tennis schedule is locked and loaded. I have matches every week. I have practice every week. I can also go to, go to drills and stuff. So anyways, I'm just ranting about tennis, but I really love tennis. I feel like everybody should play it. I always say it's taught me so much about myself and I just feel like it's become such a big part of my life and it's changed my life so much. So anyways, yeah, yesterday I had practice um, and I played like a practice match and it was a practice match against a 3-0 and I won 6-4. So... It was a great start to the week, babes. It's just a little boost of confidence for the rest of the season. But anywho, um, that was last night. Today I woke up, I had a hell of work to do. So I was shooting stuff, um, I was editing stuff. I wrapped up work for the day or I'm just gonna take a break until later tonight when I can like edit other shit. But I was just working, so that's relatively boring. But I got cute. So again, on our shit in terms of not looking like garbage in these videos, I've really been trying to be on top of like actually putting clothes on and not wearing pajamas for the whole day. So I feel like I've really like come up with like an outfit formula for like what makes me feel good and still makes me feel like I have an outfit, like a fit one, but it's still like really simple. Cause during the summer, I feel like it's so much easier cause you don't have to like really layer or wear a lot of clothes. I literally just wear like crop top cargo pants in the summer and like that's just not warm enough, but I kind of built on that because I just really like cargo and parachute pants. I always have not really a jeans girly unless I have to be. So I've got my fit formula together. I'm about to show you what I have on. Okay, babes, here is today's fit. Um, 
I literally just wear like a fitted long sleeve top. The ones that I really like are from Skims. I know everybody talks about Skims dupe this, Skims dupe that. I haven't seen a Skims dupe that actually be duping. Like Kim did her big one with these. I'm not even gonna lie, Skims. I only like like a specific thing from Skims, which is their like cotton line. I'm I'm not really a fits everyone girl. I really just like the cotton basics. I think they're really good quality. I have a few um, of the short sleeve ones for the summer, but the long sleeve ones, girl, I've been wearing these shits every single day in the winter. Like it's crazy. I think I have like four of them. They fit super nice. They hold up in the wash like nothing I have ever bought, bro. I wash these religiously and they look brand new. I cannot emphasize that more. Whatever she put in the fabric, like it just holds up. It's crazy. Like she 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 did a great job with the cotton line. So that is my intent to wear. These cargos are from local European. I've had them for a minute. Um I just feel like cargos and parachute pants are super comfortable for wearing all day, whatever I need to do. It's just a little bit more elevated than like sweatpants, but I very well could wear sweatpants instead. I just have more um cargos. So yeah, that's 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 what I got on. Can you stop making so much noise? Anyways, this sweater girl is from Abercrombie from the men's section. The men's small from Abercrombie, whatever it is I'm buying, fits me exactly how I want women's oversized stuff to fit. Like I just really, honestly, I could have probably done an extra small in this one, but this is a small. This is their like Basquiat collection cardigan. But the long sleeve fitted top with the cardigan combo is just, it looks like, especially when I put like my accessories on, like my jewelry on, I get a cute purse, maybe throw on some sunglasses, layer it with another jacket. Like it looks like I'm doing a lot, but I'm really not like, because please, like this is a step up because I really was just wearing my pajamas every day and it was a problem. And then finally, I've got my little Birkenstock Sherling shoes, which I wear pretty much every day of my life i mean it's literally a slipper that is a shoe and it just doesn't get any better i'm obsessed with them they're super comfortable Birkenstocks in general are super comfortable i need to find something similar for the summer i guess i could get the regular birkenstock clogs not like a huge fan of how those looks but these furry ones <sighs> girl eat so this is kind of the look that I've been having every day and I really like it. It makes me feel really good about myself and really put together. Even if I'm just throwing my hair in a bun or doing whatever to it, I don't have makeup on. I still put on a fit like this and I feel like good about the day. Anyways, girly pops, since we are wrapped up with work for the day, I think my boyfriend and I are gonna take Lou on a walk, maybe get some ice cream, maybe go to the brewery in our neighborhood, get some beers or something. But we are definitely trying to prioritize a quality time with each other um because i feel like that's been lacking a little bit i feel like as an adult in a long-term relationship it's like you kind of get caught up in your own shit and building your own career and you forget that you have to hang out with your partner sometimes and we can do a little chit chat later on where we get more into that but for now let's get ready to take this little ugly boy on a walk that's right Beanie. i'm talking about you don't lick my face you're the little ugly boy. You're the little ugly boy. Just look at him. Look at him. He's so beautiful. This feels like summer. Because we're just... Oh, ordinary people? Yeah, okay. 
Oh, that's see. <laughs> what did I say? We got no place to go. Yeah, that's, that's not the next part of the song. <laughs> Where was the party that Montel Jordan went to on a Friday night? On the west side, I was just singing it, and I just didn't say the. Bro, did I say the west side when I was singing it? Just no. Now? Okay. It's Friday night, and I feel alive. Mm-hmm. On the west side, yeah. Valentino, see her walking. I'm sure I've heard this song. But down the street. Close. Down A Street. In L A Street. Down an L A Street. Yeah. Wow. wow. No, no, that's not literally the answer. What I'm saying. Down A Street? Down. You had oh, a down street in, in, LA. In, in L.A.? Yeah. Sunset Boulevard? No, close. <laughs> Bossy Hunter? <laughs> <laughs> She was three months pregnant and she's keeping it. The first thing that came to mind was you. Second thing was, how do I know if it's mine? Mm-hmm. I know, what is that? First thing that came to mind was. Is it true? Or no? No. First, first thing that came to my mind was. <laughs> Second thing is, do I know if it's mine? I know, I'm thinking, is it mine? But what's the first? It's one word. That rhymes with true. <laughs> you know this. You love Usher. I know. <laughs> and it's like, I know the song, but like, fuck. Uh, when I say it, you're going to be so mad. No, he's talking to his girl. And his side chick is pregnant. And he's calling her and he's saying, the first thing that came to my mind when I heard my side chick was pregnant is you. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> It's so toxic. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's. I mean, it'd be worse if his side chick got pregnant. No, my side chick got pregnant. First thing I thought of was you. <laughs> it'd be worse if you didn't think of her at all. What's good, y'all? It is the next day. Last night, all we did was like play games. We ordered some DoorDash. Um, that game, it, we played like the lyrics guessing game. I got it at Target in Philly. Because the Targets in Jackson don't be having that like little section that's like black owned businesses. Like they have some black owned businesses like spread out around the store, but there's not that one section where you can find all this stuff. Like I have not seen that game in Target in Jackson, unless I'm just not looking in the right place. I don't know. But that game was fun as hell. Either way, it's the next day. We're going on a little lunch date. We're going to go to my favorite ramen spot in Jackson, which low key it's the only good ramen spot in Jackson and we didn't even have a ramen spot until girl like a few months ago it was kind of sad but I'm still very much in my cute casual fit bag looking put together not looking bummy on just a regular day I didn't do any makeup okay I just did my hair and then put on a little fit that makes me feel good I'm really trying to not like hold on to certain like pieces of mine for like a special occasion or just going out honestly i just want to feel good and feel like i have my personal style for outfits when i'm not doing anything because i feel like i have my personal style like on lock for like fits where i dress up but y'all know i've been saying i want to look and feel good on days where i'm not doing anything too and i feel like it's, it's coming together it's coming together so i have this sweatshirt on from abercrombie it's from the men's section i'm telling y'all it's probably my fifth time saying it in a video abercrombie men's section hits for basics like sweaters sweatshirts hoodies shit like that i wouldn't even look at the women's section the men's section stuff louis barking the men's section stuff eats if you really like a more oversized casual streetwear kind of vibe he's still barking 
But anyways, um, sweatshirts from Abercrombie. I've got a little bit of jewelry on. This is one of those pieces that I would try to keep for like a special occasion or a real, you know, fit type shit. But no, this is a Caperni heart bag. It is the red one. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I got it like a year or two ago um, during an essence sale. It's a really cute piece. It's really fun. And I'm going to start just using it, using it as a casual tote because why am I holding on to it? like for a going out bag. I don't even like big bags for going out. I like big bags for a casual day. So here we go. Then on the pants, I have these um, like taupe, they're not taupe, though. what the hell? This is cream. They're cream like wide leg Carhartt trousers. And then I paired it with my Comme des Garcons Converse. And that is our casual fit. We look good, we feel good. We're gonna go out and get some ramen. And I'm gonna take you along with me. Okay, TV is finally mounted after months of living here. I feel like it makes this space look so much bigger and better. We love that for us. I still need to like organize the cables and then figure out like, honestly, I really wanted the TV mounted so that I could use the media console space to add additional lighting because I hate using the overhead light, which is what is being used right now. It's not super harsh or anything. I just prefer mood lighting. I prefer that when I have company over, I prefer that in general. It's just not as, I don't know, harsh. But the only light, other light I have in here is like a little light near the couch and it just, it's too dark with just that by itself. So I definitely want something else that's more colorful i might put lighting behind the tv i just feel like there's so many options can my camera focus thank you but one of my current favorite home decor creators is my girl joy i've been following her since she was doing natural hair content and now she's kind of transitioned into doing home decor content and her place i'm gonna insert pictures her place is such a vibe it just gives like everything i would like my place to give i feel like her and i have similar taste but the way that she has lighting in her place like the lighting that she's chosen for her place just is spectacular even like the artwork also i love the color orange like if you have seen in my apartment before and in the previous video i have like a squiggly wall light that's orange there's pops of orange all over the house i personally just love the color combo of blue and orange and my house has a lot of blue accents like the walls in the house are blue the outside of the house is blue it's a, it's a little blue house that's what I call it and so I just love that color combo of blue and orange so pops of orange around the house just make me happy to go with the blue long story short Joy has a lot of orange accent lighting in her house and I low-key might just order the same lights that she has because they eat like she has this one like Ikea light and I hesitate to buy anything that's trendy because I don't want to not like it next year. I feel like there's a little more room for lasting trends in like furniture rather than clothing. But we don't have an Ikea in Jackson, but there are like dupes on Amazon for that light. And it's really cute. And I know it's, it's giving trendy, but I might just get it anyways. I'll insert a picture of it so y'all know what I'm talking about. But... Yeah, I'm just really excited to have like space to decorate. There's like so much that we can do that I feel will just like 
bring more life to the place. Like we could do like a gallery wall around the TV. We could do a little bit of shelving. I'm thinking shelving around the TV would be cute. Like maybe one right above the chair and then one right above the TV. But yeah, there's just opportunity for so many different things. I just feel like that upgraded the living room so much. So cute, literally can't wait to decorate. Hey friends, good morning. We are up early on our way to go play some tennis. We're going to like a drill session, which is kind of like a group lesson where there's like tennis pros and like hit balls and you hit them around, whatever. Um, if you're in the Jackson area, we go to River Hills for our drills. Hey friends, we're back home. Um, we finished playing tennis and then we're gonna go get brunch. We also stopped and got like a bunch of my packages, which you can see right here. So we will do an unboxing later on, but showered, slicked my hair back real quick. I've been very lazy with my hair. I really wanted to be committed to like consistently doing my wash and goes, but it's just giving like laziness really. So I've just been slicking it back in a bun. I'd be washing it and deep conditioning it. I just don't feel like styling it. I feel like that's a really weird reflection. But anyways, we got another banger of a fit going on. Again, no makeup, bare face. I just, as long as my hair is done and I got a fit on, I don't even really feel like I need makeup for real. But anyways, I feel like I'm really, I'm getting the hang of these like casual, just throw something on fits. This is good lighting. Ooh. All right, so let me show you the fit. The glasses are from Elisa Johnson. I feel like whenever I wear like my gold jewelry, I'm just like, oh, I can just pop these on and it gives a look. And they're also, they're also sunglasses. They're not like me trying to wear fake glasses. They do like have a tint to them. So they actually protect your eyes from the sun. Um, I've got all the same gold jewelry I always wear. I don't know if I've talked about this watch, but I have a very small wrist. And I got this watch in New York at Wolf and Badger. Wolf and Badger is a shop that like, you know what? I'm gonna have to do a whole thing about Wolf and Badger because if, hold on, let me, let me get into my rant. I have been very committed to shopping sustainably, shopping from small businesses. Wolf and Badger is literally like, almost like a marketplace for very small businesses. Um, and they have really dope pieces if you're trying to discover like new brands or something like that. I highly recommend just going on the Wolf and Badger website and scrolling through because they have like really unique and incredible pieces from like international designers that you might not have heard of or thought of. Um, so I really like it. Like a lot of the pieces that I've gotten from Wolf and Badger are like Turkish designers and it's like don't always have access to international designers, especially to small businesses in like American stores. So check that out. But the point is I got this um, watch, which is really cute and small um, at Wolf and Badger and it fits my wrist really well. I really like it. But yeah, that was sidetrack from the outfit of the day. So got the same gold jewelry I always wear. This shirt is like an oversized, can we see it? Oversized striped shirt that I got from Frame Denim. I got it from Saks Off Fifth, which Saks Off Fifth is that girl. It's the outlet version of Saks Fifth Avenue. So you can get like really high end stuff for like a fraction of the price. I think this shirt was originally like $400. I think I got it for like 150, which is still pretty expensive, but it's really good quality. It's like perfect oversized fit and it's like a staple piece, a, sh a striped button up shirt. Like yeah, eats. Pants are from local European. These are the local European cargos I've had for like years now. I literally wear them all the time. They're very, a very good piece to get. Orange Adidas Gazelles, green Telfar. And that's literally the fit and it eats. Again, we strike again with a cute casual fit. So 
So anywho, we're about to head out to brunch and we're going to Highland Mouse, which if y'all remember the last vlog where I told y'all like I went to brunch and like there was like a pipe burst in my house. We're going back to the same place. So now I can actually take y'all in since we dealt with that whole hectic situation. But it's one of my current favorite brunch spots in Jackson. So y'all are gonna see. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell y'all, fragrance of the day. Um, This one from Wilhelm Perfumery, Purple Fig. My brother got me this for Christmas. I mean, I asked him for it, but he did get this for me. And y'all know, I'm not a sweet or gourmand scent kind of girly. I'm very much into like smoky, woodsy, clean, fresh, that kind of category. This is like smoky fruit. That might not sound appealing, but it's very interesting and I don't know. It just gives a certain je ne sais quoi. I love a fragrance that's like, what is that? You know? And this, this is that. I was gonna come home and be productive and then that food gave me the itis so <laughs> it's time to take a nap i have hella things to unbox and it's a combination of things that i ordered for new york fashion week and then some pr so we're just gonna go ahead and get into it this box is so fucking beat up so this is Shea Moisture's new deodorant. Shea Moisture been getting into a lot of different things lately. Because I remember when they were on the hair products. Now they have like body products, deodorant, all types of things. Um, they got a moisturizing one and a fresh one. This is from Gizu. Or Gizu. I don't know how why you pronounce it i'm gonna assume it's gizu and it is their hair perfume it's a new rose one i definitely have the honey one and i think it smells really good oh that's really nice i love a rose fragrance so oops here she is so cute just like a classic pair of black pumps from Paris, Texas. I feel like the silhouette of their shoes is just so pretty. Um, and I've always wanted a pair of shoes from them. And I was looking for just like a classic pair of black pumps to go with like any type of outfit. And these ones were a very good price. They were on sale. Nothing that exciting about them. I just wanted like a good quality pair of pumps. I could have very well just got them from like a store like Aldo or Steve Madden or something, but I wanted to invest in a pair that was like super good quality. These are so cute. The heel is not like too high, so I'm gonna try them on, make sure that they fit, but they're beautiful in person. They're just as beautiful as I expected them to be. The quality is really nice. The sole is like leather, so this is a good quality shoe. Okay, this is just a bunch of complexion products from Giorgio Armani. I am doing a collab with them. So they sent me all of the shades that I need to make. All right, next up we have a package from Home Nutrition. I do really like their hair strong gummies. I did a collaboration with them last year where I was actually little picture of me was in the Sephora store. I don't know if it's still there. They didn't have it in the Sephora in Jackson. I literally had to go to like, I actually don't even think I ended up seeing it in person. I talked about it um, in my Sephora squad vlog, how I 
knew it was in like the LA store, so I wanted to go see it. I don't even think that I had time. But I do really like these, and they sent me a few of the other vitamins. This is the Ashwagandha Calm Gummy. And then these are Hyaluronic Glow Gummies, so they help support hydrated glowing skin. And they also sent... Some little supplements for de-bloating and digestion. Urinary tract health. This is the concealer that everybody and their mother is talking about. And you know what? I've said this before. I'm not a huge stan of Fenty Complexion products. This product in particular, which they sent me in my shade, it broke me out when I tried it, so I won't be using it, but I will be patch testing the concealers because I do really want to try them. I've seen other people who have said that they also haven't loved other complexion products, say that they did love the concealers, so I am excited about that. I will definitely be patch testing though because I'm not trying to break out just from using some concealer. This is from YSL. YSL Beauty always has like the most beautiful packaging for all of their stuff like so cute i i literally keep every box they sent me because i'm like I, I don't know why i do that because i don't end up using them it's like you know when you get like an apple product or something and it, you, the box is just so nice that you want to keep it why am i keeping these boxes i they're just pretty i don't know okay this is also a mascara Boom. The packaging is like immaculate. I love the black and blue. Like it just looks so. It eats. I am. Wait, hold on. Let me look at the. Ooh. Can you all see that? Is it focusing? Is it focusing? There you go. Ooh. It's perfume. I want this box too. Like I'm going to keep the boxes. Like it's actually so pretty. This is their black opium. I have heard the girls talk about this. I've never smelled it though. I'm gonna smell it right now. Cause I know there's like, how do you open this? Oh my God, I don't wanna break it. Oh, okay. I know there's like mixed feelings about this. Oh, maybe I should spray it on something. Hold on. Let's see this. Oh, this is new. It's not the original black opium. The new Cherry Red Sensation Black Opium Over Red, the latest addition to the Black Opium Collection. Notes of juicy cherry, rich coffee, and warm vanilla combined to create a long-lasting warm and spicy gourmand. Now, I don't love a gourmand, but I do love a cherry fragrance. So, let's spray this in here, actually. Mmm. It's definitely not... It's not too sweet. I will definitely be wearing that. I actually eat. The cherry is definitely very prominent in that. The vanilla, it, it, it is, there is like a hint of sweetness to it. Like I would typically go with something that's more like spice forward, but I can definitely layer it with something spicier to like make that note more pronounced but this actually smells really good what is this unlock your best lashes slide to open girl do i have to do a puzzle they got like freaking puzzle on this hold on slide to open girl um uh, I don't know how that was supposed to work, but it's open now. Everybody got a mascara. What's going on? This is like the, the fucking fifth mascara I've opened. New Panorama Mascara. Miss Kendall Jenner on the advertising. Let's see the brush for this one. Ooh, that's different. Is it focusing? I hope so. Try any old mascara. Honestly, I feel like with mascaras, like, they're generally pretty buildable. Especially if you're going to wear falsies, like, I don't know. I definitely like a balance of, like, lengthening and volumizing. I don't want just 
what are the other. Um, so as long as you can do that, I'm good. Let me see the, I didn't even look at the Sephora ones. Oh, this one has like one of those stiff rubbery brushes. I feel like I usually tend to go for like a fluffier brush than like a stiff rubber brush, but I don't know. I'm gonna try them all. What's this one? Okay, see like this is the kind of brush I like. Mm -hmm. Is it focusing, girl? Oh, hold on. It's not. Oh, there we go. No. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I like the fluffier brushes over the rubber brushes. I feel like we have a very good selection of items this week. Okay, this Lancome package has everything to get all the makeup essentials for that clean girl aesthetic. Ooh, who gonna tell her? We're on to mob life aesthetic, apparently. That's what the internet said. But actually, I really like this way of setting PR. Like, he sent me a full face. Now I really want to do a full face of Lancome. Because I don't think I've ever tried their products. I really don't. So I'm very excited because I know the girls love the Tenty Doll. So, oh wait, this is sunscreen. Sun oh, it's like a, it's like a tinted sunscreen. That's cute. Hopefully it's my shade, 420W, we're gonna see. Juicy Tube, lip gloss, we got all the things. I actually really like that, that's really cute. It's a really good way to like introduce creator to your brand because like how would I know where to start how do I know what I like you have two more packages and then we'll be done with this week's PR unboxing slash stuff that I ordered myself on this is Skylar fragrance they have a lot of really nice fragrances that they sell at Sephora what is this Sunkissed Dahlia Dahlia Apple Amber. I have no idea what a Dahlia smells like. I don't think I've had a fragrance with an apple note in it. Girl, I just be tearing these boxes up. It's so much tape. I'm gonna go ahead and smell it. Oops. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna spray it on something. I'm gonna spray it on this. interesting it's not spicy but it's not fruity either it doesn't feel floral either I can't like pinpoint what category I would put that in hmm I definitely smell the apple maybe because I don't know what a Dahlia smells like I am not getting that note i feel like it's what's so hard about fragrances is like if i don't know what something smells like a how do i know i'm gonna like it b how do i know if it's like pronounced in the fragrance if i can't even like detect what it's supposed to smell like so i feel like i always gravitate towards similar fragrances because i know what i like i know what i think smells good on me but if i don't know how something smells it's gonna be hard for me to be like oh that's what I want to smell like you know what I'm saying but I do like this I do like this I feel like it's very like neutral like this would be a good everyday fragrance because I don't feel like there's anything in it that's like overwhelming I like it it's very like it smells clean it smells clean I would probably put it in the clean category even if that's not what they were going for I don't think it's overly floral or fruity why is the lighting doing that I'm sure this is something I ordered for myself, for fashion week. Yep. Okay, this is also a piece. Ooh, girl. This is a piece from that store I was talking about where I got my watch from, Wolf and Badger. 
it is another Turkish brand, which I don't know. This is like the, oh my God, things are falling down. So the third time I order something from a Turkish brand. They're always different, but they always end up being Turkish. So anyways, this is, I don't know how to pronounce this. Kella? That's what I'm gonna assume it's pronounced like. Kella the label. And this is like a denim printed jacket. It was a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but it was giving you this. It's like a, well, it's like a, I don't know what this material is actually, but it is very cool. Like I'm obsessed. It also has like a belt you can wrap around and like cinch the waist. <laughs> actually been Lou come here Lou always trying to be up in everything okay it's actually been like a few days since I vlogged just because I got sick um I feel like I'm always getting sick that's really fun I don't know but I got sick just cold and flu like symptoms or whatnot it wasn't COVID but I felt bad enough that I canceled my trip to New York for New York Fashion Week, which is really sad and disappointing because I was really looking forward to it. The day before I was really feeling sick was the day before I needed to travel. And to me, it's just like, yeah, I could have felt better the next day and gotten on the plane, but my flight was at like 7 a.m. So I would have had to be up like super early. I hate traveling sick, first of all. It's just not super fair to the people around you. Also, you just don't feel good doing all that. I feel like traveling is like high stress. It's just, I don't, I don't like to do it. Okay. I canceled and I did end up feeling worse the next day. Um, I'm kind of on the tail end of it. It's been like two or three days since I ended up canceling the trip. And it's unfortunate because I really wanted to go. I had all my fucking fits planned out. I was ready to get flicked up. Okay. I was ready to take the damn content, but unfortunately it just didn't work out that way. I'm a firm believer in everything happens for a reason. For whatever reason, I am not in New York right now. So I'm gonna take it as a blessing. I try to take every inconvenience as a sort of blessing. Girl, just because New York Fashion Week isn't happening doesn't mean that there's not more vlogs to look forward to. I'm definitely gonna postpone the New York trip to some point soon. I might go for my mom's birthday, which is in early April, because um, she was sad that I had to cancel, but I also I didn't want to get her sick either. But anyways, girl, 
there's a lot of other trips happening this year so we still definitely have more vlogs to look forward to anyways girl all i've been doing today is working i styled my hair for the first time in like three fucking weeks i've been slicking the shit back every day i use the rizos curls products that i tried in another vlog but then I, if y'all watch that vlog i literally it started pouring rain like immediately after i went out with my hair done and it just ruined the washing though i had to redo it anyways i tried these products again and i really like the results so that's lit this is the curl defining mousse and the light hold gel so my hair looks very good also just a hair update because if y'all have been here you know that i damaged the hell out of my hair i didn't like it's not like it doesn't curl like it curls obviously it's just my curl pattern is much looser than it used to be but i feel like gradually it's looking more and more shrunk i literally cut hair off every single wash day like every time i see a curl that's looking wonky every time my shape looks a little weird i take my scissors and i snip snip because girl i really truly don't give a fuck i'm not planning on wearing my hair straight anytime soon so if it's uneven that doesn't really matter to me i really just want my curl pattern to pop back and i feel like to do that i just have to gradually cut but it's looking better and better each week honestly and i'm being pretty consistent with deep conditioning and bond treatments today i did do the curl smith bond curl rehab salve which i really like um i left that in for like an hour washed it out oh my god i tried a new shampoo the Miche clarifying the Miche detox clear girl Miche detox clarifying shampoo this stuff goes so crazy i have had this sitting like in my stash of PR that I need to go through for a minute and I wish I had tried it sooner. It is so good. And after cleansing I also deep conditioned with the Ceremonia deep conditioning hair mask. Top tier. But anyways girly pops, even though we're not going to New York, there's other stuff to come. But I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!